Hey everybody, I'm back with uh, another haul uh, uh, video. Um, th th this time I have some uh, VHS tapes and some um, uh, books and a, um, a couple of, of uh, other things. So, um, up uh, first, anybody that knows me knows I love jigsaw puzzles and I picked up a Super Mario 3 jigsaw puzzle yeah it is a um, 550 pieces which which now that's about the size that I like now I can do it in like a a day and it doesn't just go on and on and on and the pieces are typically not too tiny which the uh, the older that I am, the more I uh, appreciate that. So, okay, and also I picked up a DVD of Mr. T, the toughest man in the world. <laughs> this is a film that I've uh, heard of but I've not actually ever seen but it just looks pretty hil hilarious <laughs> actually it um yeah Okay, and I got a stack of, of, of VHS tapes at a church sale, which is typically, it's typically like a, a yard sale, but it's at a church. At the first, I got... So I got uh, uh, Raiders of the uh, Living Dead, which I've not actually seen this one too, but it looks terrible. <laughs> um, it's put out by Very Strange v v Video. Bring it in a little bit to get closer so that you guys can uh, see it better. And the back side, which looks pretty awesome. We dare you to keep your eyes open. That could be good or bad. Okay, and up. Up next is uh, Cross the Great Divide, which I don't know too much about, but it's a 
media tape, which I buy those pretty much any time that I can um, find them. And it's got George Buck Flower in it, who I love, and it is made by the guy who made Mac and and me, which is terrible, so I hope this is um, terrible too. <laughs> Um, back in the 1970s, Rankin and Bass did these two animated films of The Hobbit and The Return of the um, King. Uh, they were, they were, made for TV and to to me if I think about the uh, Hobbit I think about this right here this is I I love this as a kid so so much. It was on all the time, and I oh, oh, oh I oh, watched it every time that I could. Um, the Return of the King. It's not quite as as um good, but I couldn't. Uh, uh, pass it up. <laughs> and I also uh, I picked up Running Scared, which I've not actually um, seen since it um, came out. So I don't know if it's any good, but I just love this style of MGM boxes that open up like this. It's got the uh, cast info here and the tapes in here. So these kind of of um, boxes, I buy them all that I see, and I've got a a pretty good uh, pile of them. <laughs> and the the final tape is teenager, which. I did um, uh, um, find this at the uh, church sale, so I will not make any more um, good comment on that. But it says she is ready to to try anything and. There's the back of it. It's actually not what it seems because it's about a a a backer film being made in a small town and the 
the actors get too involved in their characters and kind of go overboard on things and and bad stuff it happens uh, it's quite a, a bit more tame than the um, um, cover w uh, makes it seem and it got a good re a good review in in um, shock cinema magazine which I have a lot of um, uh, confidence in his uh, opinion so I'll um, check it out okay the battery on my camera actually um, died on me but I think that is going to be okay now. So now here are the books that I picked up. Okay, up first is how the other half lives. It's about poverty in the turn of the century New York City um, it's got a lot of photos in it which is why I got it um, And I picked up a copy of Cult Movies 2. Um, I love any kind of a film in the Stylopedia. And I'll probably do a, a video about them here um, soon. But... But... This one here, it's got some relatively unknown um, titles in it, and um, I got it for the seventy-five um, cents. So that's always good. Um, American friend basket case. So, yeah, cult, cult newbies, uh, two. Okay, and uh, uh, finally, I picked um, um, uh, this up. It's got a lot of uh, photos in it of some fairly horrifying accidents here and there, but I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, this book, I actually um first saw it at the, the, the antique mall it's been a a uh, while in the back and 
I didn't buy it. And I got home and I thought I ought to have have um, got that. And I went back for it and could not find it. Um, the antique mall, it's got a left side and a, a right side. And it's got aisles going going up and down each of them and it can be hard to to um, find things in there like that but I've been there four or or five times hunting this and I could not find it but then this uh, past time it was in there again and it was actually on a table that I have hunted over several times but it was there this time and so I, 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 I picked it up <laughs> so yeah um, that's about it I hope you guys had a good um, time and uh, Thank you. Uh, I'll I'll um, see you, you guys again um, soon. Uh, bye bye.